I have found out that a lot of Christians are bewitched. <laughs> I can use, use such a strong word. You find uh, Paul is speaking to the Galatian church and said, who has bewitched you, O oh, foolish Galatians? Because they had the real word of God and then they deviated. So this is what I want to say to the believer who's out there, who's wondering what's going on, why are things so crazy? The truth is this. They've taken time to cast spells upon the children of God worldwide. And it takes those who are honestly seeking and praying and loving this Bible, the Word of God, to be able to discern what we're going through. You see now there's so much mixed. The Hollywood people, the stars are now at friendly levels with true shepherds of Christ. And so you ask yourself, are they really, really shepherds? Or are they wolf in sheep clothing? You see, the bewitchment is so organized, it's so systemized. It's not something that happened in two years. It's a plan from hell that's been going on for nearly 40 years. And they slowly were eroding our faith to a point where now today, if you say someone is not of God, people are ready to kill you. Oh, they're all of God. But the truth is, they've crept into our midst and they are feeding the sheep of Christ heresies, doctrines of demons. And it's like we're bewitched, we can't go. Some of us know, but we're too afraid to leave the system. You know this person is in Freemasonry. There's nothing wrong with Freemasonry. If that's what you'd want to do, go for it. This person is, we know, is a witch doctor. Nothing wrong with witch doctor if, you, if that's what you want to do, if that's the religion you want to follow. Go for it. But why will a witch doctor come and be talking to us in the church? I thought the Bible says darkness and light cannot mix. Why are we confusing our children? Why are we confusing the generation that are coming after us? By bringing these people who have nothing to do with God into our pulpits. We celebrate them. We applaud them. We see you hanging out with them. And their whole thing is to bring people to hell. Why are you exposing the sheep of Christ to these people? I'm speaking to pastors. I'm speaking to religious leaders. Whatever you want to do, do, but don't confuse God's people. And you that is sitting in the pulpit, you owe yourself the responsibility of checking spirits. Check my spirit, because I'm going to check yours. I don't just sit in a church and allow you to bewitch me. No, be careful of who lays hands on you. Be careful of the content you consume. They've mixed a lot of new age material now, psychology, and they call it the word of God. I have nothing against new age. If you want to do that, go, go full throttle, but know that you have the option of coming to the Lord Jesus Christ because each man knows what is working. Each man knows the truth. You know the truth. Your conscience is bearing you witness that these things you're doing, slaughtering animals, killing babies, killing human beings for your church to grow, it's not of the Lord. Paul is speaking in the book of 1 Corinthians. He says, I didn't come to you with the excellency of the words of men, but I came in the power and demonstration of the Holy Spirit. Where is the power of the Holy Spirit? What are we doing with the word of God? What are we doing with the Holy Spirit of God? What are we doing with his presence? Let's repent. Let's break off bewitchment. Let's stop this circus that we're doing. Let's stop confusing the world. There are people in the world who want to come into the church, but are saying, no, this is the same thing. When we go to our meetings in the night, we still see the same pastors talking in the morning. So why should we stop? I beg you, my dear friends, do not stay under bewitchment. Jesus Christ is going to come soon. And if he doesn't come soon, you and I are going to meet him soon. What do we have to say? Let's get back in the word. Let's stop deceiving ourselves. 
Let's stop looking for people who have itching ears to tell us what we want to hear. Let's look for people who tell us the truth in love. My dear friend, in Jesus' name, I break bewitchment of your mind. You will discern spirits. You will know which is of God and you will follow. In Jesus' matchless name, amen. Talk soon.